Now, that's some pretty big news coming down within the last 24 hours in the treatment for Alzheimer's. The FDA grants its first ever full approval of a new drug that is used to slow down the progression of this disease. And it comes with a caveat. It has a big price tag. It costs $26,500 a year. Yeah, not cheap for a lot of folks, including the estimated 6.5 million Americans who have Alzheimer's. I'm joined now by the Cleveland Clinic's Dr. Babak Tusi. Thank you so much for taking the time today to talk with us, doctor. No, thank you for having me here. I was excited to be part of this discussion. Yes, this is a big headline. At what stage in the fight against Alzheimer's disease can patients qualify for this drug? It's known as Lakembi. I'm glad you brought it up because I hear people said we have 6 million Americans with Alzheimer's. But in reality, this medication so far in trial was tried only people in the very early stage of Alzheimer's disease. So we are talking about people who have a mild cognitive impairment, means they're a little forgetful, but they're relatively independent, or completely independent, or very early stage of Alzheimer's dementia means minimal assistance. Maybe somebody set up the pillbox. Maybe somebody go over the checks and they write it, but that's it. So it's still, still quite independent. Um, we don't know if it's provide any benefit for people in moderate or advanced stage of Alzheimer's disease. And certainly wouldn't be for people who also have other conditions that have a condition, like a stroke or like a lot of vascular changes in the brain. Is this a big step in treating this devastating disease that's um, really tough okay. on a lot of families? Yeah. Well, keep in mind, the medication provides modest and a small benefit. Um, so you have to make decision case by case when you start this treatment. So definitely it's not one of those treatments that you think is turn back time or slow down disease significantly, it's slow down slightly. So we're talking about in 18 month period, maybe 5.3 months on average. And of course, that depends on the person, what stage of disease they start to receiving this medication. Um, so this is the biggest step that we have a treatment that may slow down progression of disease in the first place, uh, but necessarily is a baby step, is the first step. Yes, absolutely. Um, hoping the next <laughs> Now, I, I'm wondering, though, I think, you know, some of this comes with obviously the high cost. Most folks cannot afford this, though some health care uh, coverage will be available to some folks. What about the possible medical side effects? Are there drawbacks to this medication? Absolutely. So it's a black box already issued this medication. And um, in short, we call it ARIA, basically uh, abnormalities within MRI that usually attributed with treatment for amyloid. Um, and usually occurs the first six months of the treatment. Uh, what happens, the thought is that when we remove this amyloid, also some amyloid plaques, maybe in the blood vessels, and we're removing that, we make sure blood vessels oozing or leaking fluid out of red blood cells sometimes. So it's caused edema or mini bleeding. Most of the cases, patients are not familiar with that. But there are some cases may cause some headache and confusion and dizziness. And in that case, we hold the medication and we repeat MRI till the symptoms resolve or stabilized. So of course it carries some risk. So it's important to discuss the benefit, we discuss side effects more thoroughly. So it's not just simply yes and no, I start the prescription. We have to monitor very closely for that. Yeah, it sounds like you're gonna have to pay close attention to how people react to it, but great to hear that we're taking at least that baby step, like you said, in a disease that's really hard on people, especially when they see their parents or aging loved ones go through this. Good to hear that we are making some medical breakthroughs. Doctor, thank you so much for taking the time tonight. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Good.